Hey everyone, with my many bikes over the years, I have never ever purchased an 11 speed Shimano crankset. This bike came with the full SLX Grupo and that's the only reason why I have it. Otherwise, I didn't really like the uh, new narrow wide profile of their chain rings, the asymmetrical spider for the chain ring as well. Price wasn't too attractive, so I gave them a pass. However, the new 12 speed Grupos introduce a new series of cranksets that I think are worth taking a look at. Cranksets are usually shipped in big boxes like this. I don't have the one for the SLX, but uh, you can see here, this was a three by uh, crankset that I converted to one by very easily. However, the details of this specific uh, crankset are usually found here next to the pedal mount. This is an FCM 7100 crankset made in Japan and the length that I've chosen is 170 millimeters. And I wanted to show you the new crank set next to the old 9 speed crank set because even though this is redesigned, Shimano kept some of their characteristics. Specifically, if you look here, the 24 millimeter axle, this is a steel axle that's used on older cranks, including XDR. And this would be different lengths depending on the type of spacing that you have on your bike. They have one for non-boost, for boost and for super boost so that's the main difference between those crank sets and because of that 24 millimeter spindle the same holotech 2 bottom brackets are used with this series as well you look at the old bb52 this is the dior the mt800 they had this before and is the same one used today you can see the different types over here from the threaded all the way to press fit BBs. The same old 16 notch BB tool is used with this type of bottom bracket. However, the new one also used on the road, so Tegra would need this adapter because the cups are a bit smaller. So this is an adapter that would make the old tool work with the new BBs. TLFC 25 or 24 is the Shimano part number. However, the threaded BB MT800 includes one in the box. In the new SLX lineup, they still have the four bolt attachment chain rings. They also have a two by version, but on this specific one by version, chain ring is a one piece. And most importantly, this is finally direct mount. And that's something new for Shimano. And when I say one piece chain ring, well, think about that it could be one piece chain ring. It is actually for XDR. However, SLX, XD and Dior have it built around an aluminum spider and then you have the steel chain ring bolted down with these non-removable special Torx bolts. The same idea used by the center lock rotors is used here. You see the Torx 35 to 50 newton meters and over here is going to say that this is specific for uh, XD and SLX and I would mention Dior XDR has a different lock ring here's the catch they would tell you that a standard uh, BB tool is used to install and remove these chain rings however you need a socket type because there is no way you can fit this underneath to undo it. So you need a tool that's called uh, TLFC41. So I was told that XT and XDR cranks already come with the tool. The Shimano narrow wide tooth profile was changed again. It's machined a bit more so these teeth are skinnier to accommodate for the special chain that their uh, Hyperglide Plus requires. In comparison if you look at the old 11 speed chain ring, look at the teeth, they are just wide and big. If you look at the third party manufacturers of chain rings for Shimano 12 speed drivetrains, they will highly suggest using Shimano chains with them. Otherwise, because of the skinnier profile of the teeth, you won't have the proper chain retention with something like a SRAM Eagle chain. Chain ring size, a 12 speed generation, and the Shimano logo is also on the chain ring. And here on the back, part number, CRM75 and these chain rings are made in Japan. Same hollow forged aluminum design of Holotech 2, same anodized finish but this time darker. 
finish that doesn't look too bad as it wears out as you see here on the old 11 speed cranks. Also this design of the SLX and XT was used by the XTR stopgap MT900 when they're struggling to build the current XTR M9100. Interestingly the weight of this crankset is 636 grams XTR it's about a hundred grams less however the one piece chain ring on that XTR weights about 50 grams less so 50 60 grams difference between SLX and XT and XTR the same two pinch bolts with a preload cap that was used by this nine speed is actually used by today's Dior SLX and XT crank sets and to install it you would remove that outside bolt just for this little plastic safety pin to lift up then slide the crank arm onto the spindle this only goes in one way and push in that uh, little plastic tab then take the provided torque cap and you're going to install it using an FC16 tool from Shimano this is pretty popular so fairly easy to find you would tighten this up all the way to snug trying to take out all the play here then finally you're going to reinstall that outside bolt using a five millimeter hex the details of tightening these bolts are here on the crank arm but in a nutshell you would alternate tightening the two if you want a full procedure on how to get this installed i have a full series on how to build a bike from scratch make sure you check that out i think shimano took what was good in the past and improved with that direct mount chain ring also the compatibility of the chain rings on all their series from Dior to XDR they kept the 24 millimeter spindle and the reliable bottom brackets so all good reasons to consider the Shimano crank sets again what do you guys think would you be interested in buying this for your future builds let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media, and I'll see you folks on the trails. Cheers!